Hello, I'm Daphne Good, and we are at the Log House, and it's an absolute delight to be spending time with Jennifer Lawson, who is a very well-known watercolor artist. She's at work, and a lot of other artists are at work as well right now, preparing for one of the tours coming up, and we'll tell you all about that. Welcome to Go Island, Cowichan Valley. On today's show, you'll meet Jennifer Lawson of the Cowichan Artisans Tour. What's up at the BC Legislature? And we'll preview the Cowichan Aboriginal Film and Art Festival. All that and more on Go Island, Cowichan Valley. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Inside the studio here at Jennifer Lawson's Log House, it's really a treat to watch Jennifer work, and we're going to talk about that. We're surrounded as well by her completed work, and no doubt you have seen it because she is a prolific artist. She was born in Yorkshire. She holds two honors art degrees, one from the University of Guelph and the other from Georgian College. It seems that the early part of her career, when she was studying, she was always uh, receiving awards as best student and having the highest achievements. So certainly a serious artist. Jennifer, thanks for welcoming us into your studio. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, so let's talk about how this love affair with art began for you. Well, I think growing up in England where art is uh, probably more of a focus and my parents were both great gardeners and we had you know lovely gardens around it's lovely color i was always really drawn to color and of course mm. flowers are the quintessential color that's why we're painting them today <laughs> and uh, i guess that's where it started i you know have always been quite fascinated by the papers by the um yeah just the uh the whole the package. whole world yes. of, of art. Yeah. Let's talk about the paper. You said at one time your, your utopian vision is uh, always to be painting on pure rag paper. Why is that? I, well, for starters, we need rag paper. That is, that is you know, sort of something that should be said. Um, if it's newsprint, although it takes on really quickly, it's not archival at all. Mm -hmm. And it literally grabs the paint right off your brush, which is a kind of a nice thing. But... Um, you know, for me, actually, the papers are something I'm really drawn to. I love the different papers. I love the different textures. Mm -hmm. And I think part of it may be coming from the textile center of the world. I was very close to Bradford. And everybody in England goes around feeling your, <laughs> your clothes. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I just love the textures. I started out in textiles, actually, and I've kind of worked up right. to coming back to painting, which I love. Well, you seem very at home with me peering over your shoulder, and I'm watching this watercolor. You're laying it on. It's beautiful. Uh, of course, we can see it coming to life with the color. Why watercolor for you? Why is that such a medium that, that you love? I've always been drawn to watercolor. I love the kind of effects you can get. I love the, the play of the light and the, uh, and the paper, the, the colors, the transparency. Uh, the librarian in the small town in, Inger in Ontario, Ingersoll, was a painter and a good sort of a mentor of mine and a, a, an old school friend's mother. And I just loved what they were doing on rag papers and the sort of, yeah, mm -hmm. and going out to paint. I love to go out and paint on location. And, well, you've got yeah. a fabulous location here. Just outside, we see the estuary in Cowichan. You're surrounded by nature. That must be a wonderful inspiration. Oh, it, well. it, it, love, it really is lovely. And I love to swim, so we're right here on the river, which is great. And I also like to snorkel, so I go to Maple <laughs> Bay in the summer, and my brother lives over there. And... Yeah, we do. We, I, I yeah, think sure. we're in just the most beautiful place in the world. I really do. Now, you seem relatively calm, considering that the, there's a very uh, large art tour coming up, and you're one of the artists which will be included. You're just about ready to go for that, the Couch and uh, yeah. Artisans Tour? Well, we're getting closer. I seem to have a lot of paintings that need finishing. I'm a very happy painting starter, shall we say. I go out on location and I'd start a new painting every day if I could. I just, I love being out and I love heritage. And I think that comes from Britain too. So I love going out and painting old houses, old gardens, that kind of thing. Right. Um, 
But finishing is always a struggle, but I'll be in the studio, hopefully pulling it all together. So the artist needs yeah. discipline. The artist needs discipline, this is true. Just, yeah. uh, just before we take a break, Jennifer, I can look around here and see another symbol of quintessential Jennifer Lawson art, and that includes young animals. We see all kinds of just darling baby sheep, also from around the area, correct? Yes. Yes, uh, yeah, although that one's in Scotland, the, the painting. That's actually the, my cousin's farm where we've holidayed for the last 60-odd oh, years. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, I finally got a chance to paint there that was kind of fun. Lovely. Um, but yeah, no, definitely from around here. I love sheep, and I think because we spent every Easter and every summer up at, you mm -hmm. know, they had 1,500 sheep. I tried to stuff them all in there. <laughs> I didn't quite get it. I think you're up to 14 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Well, yeah. you carry on working. We're going to keep on visiting and uh, tell you more about the Artisans Tour that's coming up. You don't want to miss. You'll have a chance to come here to the studio, meet Jennifer Lawson, see her gorgeous work, and also find out about the other talented artists. We'll be telling you more about that as well. But first, we'll take a little tiny break. And when we come back as well, we'll be telling you about Speaking of total polar opposites, the life at the BC legislature, what's going on there in business, coming up after the break. We're back at Jennifer Lawson's studio and we'd like you to go out and enjoy as much as you can, the art in the Cowichan Valley, and you can do that with the Cowichan Artisans Tour, which is coming up, and Jennifer will be part of that. Jennifer, in your earlier uh, learnings, you were you were regarded as a very top student and uh, always received lots of awards for highest achievement. Did you set out to do that? Because for some artists, it doesn't matter about awards. Well, um, I... When I got the Best Student Award, which I think is what you're referring to at Georgian <laughs> College, I had just returned from traveling for over a year. I'd spent over six months in India, and I think I sort of came back with a, you know, a bit of a wealth of experience that maybe some of the other students didn't have. Right. And I was very intrigued by sort of, I think my resume says, art is interwoven into the fabric of everyday life in <laughs> India. So it's such a great line, I'll just throw it out there. And that really got me interested in art, I, I should say. I'd, I'd actually gone to university for geography, mm. and I, I maybe think I was there because I like coloring the maps, but actually mm -hmm. we weren't coloring any maps when I got to university. <laughs> so it was good. I took time out, went to India, and discovered that really art was what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's, that's a great story, and interesting <laughs> to hear about your travels as well. I, I also want to mention your work is certainly in a lot of private and permanent collections, and you've had some pretty amazing customers. Uh, former Lieutenant Governor David Lamb, um, Ed Broadbent, of course, very well-known NDP leader, Judy LaMarche as well. You said that one yes, meant the most to that you, was or? fun. I used to do a show in Ottawa, and we used to get some very interesting people through there, and um, I was thrilled that Judy LaMarche bought a piece from me. I, I Back then, she seemed like such a... A larger than life figure that yes. you know if it was a big thrill that she came to my show um yeah and uh david lamb that was he came to a show too that was wonderful he's a lovely man i was very mm. honored that he bought from me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and speaking of purchasing art on the tour the cowich and artisans tour coming up at the end of april by the way lots of people can purchase art at various studios including this one yes yes that's right there's another artist uh, a new one that's just joined our group from the North Shore Art Group. She's a past president, actually, Cheryl Painter. She's a very good uh, new person in, within the Couch and Valley Artisans. Is and that her name? That's an appropriate that's name. That's her real name, <laughs> yes. She writes that right on the brochure. It's just wonderful. <laughs> yes, it really is my name. Um, yeah, and, uh, you know, two of BC's three best potters are in our group. We have just a, a wonderful lineup of talent, really. We feel very blessed here in Cowichan. And how far away are the studios? What sort of a day would it be? I, I guess a nice leisurely day. If one could get the time to just spend and wander through all of the studios, it would be a lovely day. It would. It would. It's actually really fun. People seem to really enjoy it. And a big bonus, too, is just sort of exploring the the back roads, the byways of Cowichan Valley that you probably wouldn't see otherwise. And, True. And, you know, there's a real bonus to peeking behind the garden gate and, yes. and seeing where the art is actually being created. And, uh, you know, these are 
are things that I think really appeal to people. I am intensely mindful of the patience that you have as I'm watching you work, Jennifer. Do you know how long, for instance, it would take you to complete uh, this particular work? Well, it's always really easy to start, and uh, the finishing is always the tricky part, and sometimes it, that takes forever, and sometimes <laughs> they go really quickly, and sometimes, you know, that's a bonus if they do, but a lot of times, you know, we put them away, we sort of agonize, we look at them in mirrors, we try to surprise ourselves coming up on them, so you can have some objectivity about your own work, which mm -hmm. can be very difficult. And so to actually come up with a time that it takes to finish a piece is almost impossible because, um, you know, sometimes it can, maybe in Miracle you might get it finished in a day, but that's probably mm -hmm. very, very, very rare. And for the most part, you know, we can go into almost week sometimes so mm -hmm. there you have it <laughs> the biggest range possible well i yeah. want to know how much you love flowers because you <laughs> certainly capture them uh, on a regular basis but first we'll take a little break and then we'll be right back to tell you more We'll be rejoining Jennifer Lawson in her studio shortly, but first, we want to remind you of the Cowichan International Aboriginal Festival of Film and Art. It runs from April 23rd to the 26th. The festival will include performance, art, great food, amazing films, and people from other parts of the world will be welcomed to the Cowichan Valley. For all details on the festival, go to the website aff.cowichan.net or call 250-746-7930. Here is an example of the caliber of work to be screened. This film trailer is for Empire of Dirt. So you know that when we hunt in packs, we're stronger, right? So take care of each other, okay? Ricky, we haven't seen you at the center. You gonna come by soon? Look at me. Hey, Peeks. Hey, Peeks. Pika? Hey, it's okay. I'm here, okay? We're gonna get out of here for a bit. Hi. It's me. You seem good. Do I? How about you? If I was good, I wouldn't be here, would I? Would you kick my mom out? Because of me? It's been hard on her. She left. Hey, no, I'm not the same old Lena, okay? Well, you tell me, what are we doing here? Just be careful. It's a little late to start parenting, don't you think? Not too late at all. And now you two, running away because you think it's going to help things. At some point, somebody in this family's got to turn it around. <laughs> That trailer was for Empire of Dirt, one of the acclaimed films to be screened during the Cowichan International Aboriginal Festival of Film and Art. It runs from April 23rd to the 26th. For all details about the festival, go to the website aff.cowichan.net or call 250-746-7930. We are inspired here at Jennifer Lawson's beautiful gallery at the Log House, uh, very close to the couch and estuary, watching art come to life here. It's just fantastic. And we really want to encourage you to enjoy this for yourself. You can certainly enjoy the couch and artisans tour. Here is the brochure. I'm going to quickly tell you those which will be featured, Coventry Woodworks, custom furniture, that's uh, Karen Trickett's work, 
Venturi Schultz Vineyards is even included, art of course, and uh, Jennifer Lawson's own work will we'll be showing you some completed versions. A lot is on sale during the tour as well. And Ken Broadland, very well known at Hartwood Studio for his functional wood turning and woodwork. Kathy Jefferson's pottery will be included. She's a ceramic artist and also works in stoneware. Cheryl Painter Studio will be open. She is an acrylic painter and also glass jewelry at the Kiln Art Glass Studio and uh, glass vessels as well. Mary Fox is a very well-known ceramic artist and her studio will be open. There's a wonderful map, all of these studios located from Cobble Hill all the way to Ladysmith and lots of points in between. These brochures you can find easily at the Visitor Center just off the highway by the uh, Forest Discovery Center and a lot of other locations as well, including the Garage Showroom and Hudson's on First in the Cowichan Valley. And Jennifer said before the break we were going to talk about flowers because I don't think you can paint what you don't know but you certainly have great wildflowers around here and some of your own cultivation so you enjoy gardening? I love gardening yeah I grew up my parents were both gardeners and uh, at, well I love the product I love the the gardening I'm not so keen on the work maybe but <laughs> I love the product so uh, so we stick with it my husband and I have been sort of creating some new beds and actually doing more veggie stuff we made some uh, some raised beds this year too wonderful um, but yeah, I, yeah, it's nice to grow your own and, you know, poppies would probably be a favorite of mine. I'm, I do a lot of seeds of Shirley poppies and that sort of thing. Yes, yeah. and we see poppies on the wall. So some of your work will be for sale here. Yeah. And I have some lovely art cards. These are very, very appropriate for people who want a little bit of Jennifer Lawson's work in their home. Once again, featuring the rooster. Jennifer's well known for her beautiful florals and gardens and, and uh, small animals, lots of sheep in the area as well and I guess often people can see you carting your easel down to the to the river <laughs> bank <laughs> sounds like you're outside a lot Jennifer I do love to paint outside I've just had a glorious week at the Keating estate that was had to be sold by the land conservancy which we were sorry about but it's gone to an owner who um, is they're very keen to restore so that beautiful great hall that we were so worried about is going to be saved and who knows maybe it's going to be a, a wedding destination it would be absolutely gorgeous but I love the sort of the untouched so I spent a week there before they arrived and uh, <laughs> just thoroughly enjoyed it and mm. I, I do love to go out and paint that's my thing. And that's capturing yeah. history. Keating is going through yet another change, but that is uh, definitely a piece of history in the Cowichan Valley. Very, very special. I do want to mention that the artists that are on the tour, almost all of them are open year-round. And, and here's the poster you probably will see out and about. It says, Open Studio Tour Weekend. So this is happening from the 25th, uh, 26th and 27th from 10 to 5. Uh, but certainly most of the studios are open year-round, which is great to know. All, all are open year-round. Some um, um, more than others. Some are open absolutely every day and that tends to be the focus of a lot of our artists is that they are open year-round. So if you have guests or if you're something you're interested in, you know, you can visit an artist right at home mm. virtually year-round. Yeah. It just seems to me there's either a writer or an artist under every rock in the Cowichan <laughs> Valley. Is it the clean air? Is it the just beautiful surroundings you think that draws people here? Well it's interesting isn't it? it there's, there are theories um, about our property for example they talk about ley lines that mm. intersect and that you know draw sort of interesting people to we have I think eight at least full-time artists living on Knipson Road, which is a very short dead-end road. Mm. But, you know, it's right on the river, on the top end of Cowichan Bay. And, yeah, I think it is a lot. I mean, it is a lovely spot, right? I mean... Absolutely. And people who are interested in the view, yeah, mm -hmm. or, or just generally not tacked down in Canada, and especially, I suppose, after this last winter, mm -hmm. why wouldn't they be drawn out here? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Jennifer, I have a feeling that it would be much the same for people who are visiting during the tour. To come and spend time with you has really been delightful. You're so forthcoming. It's been really relaxing. Is this how it will be when people are coming through oh, the door certainly. here? I love meeting people. Nice. I, just, I just love it. And uh, it's a wonderful 
um, a wonderful way to meet people, a wonderful way to get out and meet some different people in terms of the public meeting artists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think that's really the fun thing. Most of us serve something and it's generally just a, you know, <laughs> sort of a nice relaxed Good. visit. Well, yeah. thank you so much. And don't you forget the annual Open Studio Tour Weekend, which is April 25th, 26th, 27th, Friday to Sunday, from 10 until 5. And please don't forget as well, we love your story ideas. We want to know what's going on in the Valley so we can share it with your neighbours. And if you have a story idea, be sure and let us know. You can reach us on Facebook or Twitter. You can email us if you like, and I'll give you the phone number, 250-475-7236. We'll look forward to seeing you next time. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J. 